And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to use the flare tool in Adobe Illustrator. It's a very intimidating tool but it's not that intimidating anymore once we've used it. Let us make sure in the view that we've got the smart guide and only snap to point activated. And then we create a basic illustration, nothing fancy. I'll just use the ellipse tool, hold shift and alt and then I use the star tool holding shift and alt as well. And I play a bit around with the colors. And now we'll use the flat tool. You will find that with a right click on basic shapes. But I want to open a new layer. So I open the layer menu. You can find that via window if you don't see this icon. And then click on new layer. I'll rename that to flare. And now I simply left click. And as long as I don't release it, I can drag the size with the mouse. And then I left click once more to create the rings. And if I open now this flare menu, you can do so with a double click on the icon. Always make sure that it's selected and then double click on the icon. Otherwise, a, you will just open a new flare or the menu for a new flare. And we want to adjust the one that we already have. So we can check the box or uncheck it. And now the rings are gone. And the result looks like this. Let me show you what the halo does. I'll increase the size and let me check the preview box. And you can see we have created a second circle. I don't want to have a halo here, so I go to zero. And the diameter, that's the inner circle, so the size of it. Let me go down with it so that we've almost have the same size as the shield. I just want to have it a little bit exceed the size. And I go down with the opacity, brightness. It's obvious what it does. I'll go up a little bit with it. And the rays that are all of these lines that start at the center and go outwards. The number 50 is the maximum. So you can't go any higher than that. And you can change the size of them by adjusting the longest function. Fuzziness, it's a little bit hard to explain. Just try it out and watch what it does yourself. So it's more like the distribution of these rays. And this is what I wanted to have. I'll just click on OK and here's our flare. And this is how you can use that tool in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.